Coming up on Hands on Mac, let's take a look at disabling the feature that is now enabled by default on your devices. Apple Intelligence. Stay tuned. Podcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Welcome back to Hands on Mac. I am Micah Sargent, and today we are taking a look at how to turn off Apple intelligence on your various devices. This, of course, is a feature that is now enabled by default on your iPhone, your iPad. Uh, the feature, of course, gives you access to loads of Apple intelligence features, including generating emoji, using writing tools, being able to access ChatGPT uh, via Siri, and so many more. But some people don't want to make use of these features. And if you were looking to disable them, well, it is a possibility. So I'm going to show you how to do that. We'll start with macOS. Here we are on macOS. And the first thing we'll do, and pretty much the only thing we have to do, is head into system settings. And then where we would typically find the Siri section, we now see the Apple intelligence and Siri section. From here, we simply toggle off Apple Intelligence. You will get a prompt that says Apple Intelligence features like writing tools will not be available if you continu continue. Siri will also stop using the additional capabilities provided by Apple Intelligence. So from that point on, not only will you not have access to writing tools, but any of the new smarts that Siri is purported to have will not be part of the system. So we will choose turn off Apple Intelligence, at which point you will see that the only controls you have for Siri are the main controls like actually using Siri in the first place, being able to access Siri via the keyboard shortcut, if Siri will listen out loud for you to uh, communicate with it, and the voice that you can choose for it. At any time, if you decide you'd like to turn back on those Apple intelligence controls, you simply need to head into your system settings, choose Apple intelligence, and turn those on from there. So what we're going to do now is we are going to close out of this and we are going to head to the iPhone. So here we are on the iPhone uh, running the latest version of iOS and the way to turn off or disable uh, Apple intelligence on this device is similar to what you would do on the Mac. We head into settings we go to the main settings page and scroll down until we find Apple Intelligence and Siri. We tap on that and once again at the top we'll see Apple Intelligence. Now, I want, you to, I want you to pay attention to something because there's one setting here that's going to change when we turn off Apple Intelligence. Right now, on screen under Siri requests, you will see a section marked talk and type to Siri. When I turn off Apple Intelligence, I get that same prompt that I saw on macOS to basically say, yes, I do want to turn off Apple Intelligence. And when I do, talk to Siri is the only option that presents itself to me. Talk and type to Siri is an Apple intelligence feature for the most part. And so if you want to re-enable the ability to turn on, or rather to, to actually type whenever you're communicating with Siri, then you'll need to use an accessibility preference instead of just using the Apple intelligence features. Now, if at any time I want to turn this back on, toggling it on causes the device to re-download the Apple intelligence on device models. And so that will take time and you will likely see a prompt that says, as this does, downloading support for Apple intelligence, connect iPhone to Wi-Fi and power while models are downloading. And that is actually going to re-download those models to the device and give the phone the ability to do much of what it does directly on the device. Now let's take a look at how this works on iPad. As you might imagine, the process is pretty similar. We launch the settings app, and we look for Apple Intelligence and Siri, and we simply toggle off Apple Intelligence. We'll get another prompt, turn off Apple Intelligence, at which point it switches off, and that talk to or type to Siri setting changes to just talk to Siri. That's kind of a, another way to kind of confirm that it actually has changed. Now, if we tap this again, 
were saying, no, actually, I want to use Apple intelligence. At that point, if Apple has removed, if the OS rather has removed the on-device models, then those will need to be re-downloaded. Removing those models will, of course, uh, give you some space, some, some storage space that you can save. And I've found that kind of tapping out of that section and tapping back into it can sometimes kind of re-trigger uh, what the settings look like including the talk to Siri option, which of course, if it is uh, fully downloaded and Apple intelligence is fully enabled, we'll have that and type to Siri option. So if we head back over to iOS, now I can see that talk and type to Siri are uh, shown up. And that gives me the ability to double tap the bottom edge of the iPhone to actually type out a message instead of communicating out loud with Siri. So that is how you disable Apple intelligence on the iPhone, and on the iPad. So that is how you turn off the Apple intelligence features that have been decidedly turned on for you if at any time you decide that it's not for you. Thanks so much for tuning in to this week's episode of Hands on Mac. I'll be back next week with another episode. But until then, I hope you have a great day, night, whatever it happens to be, wherever you are, whenever you're listening to this. Thanks. Bye-bye. Hey, buddy, are you a geek? Are you a tech enthusiast? Then I would love to invite you to join a tech community like no other. You can gain exclusive access to our incomparable quality tech content for just $7 a month with Club Twit. As a member, you'll enjoy all Twit TV shows ad-free. Plus, access private video feeds for insider shows like iOS Today, Home Theater Geeks, and so much more. Dive into the members-only Twit Plus bonus feed for behind-the-scenes content, club discussions, and special events. But here's the best perk. Join our incredible Discord community to watch live show productions, chat with hosts, and participate in exclusive members-only activities. It's your backstage pass to the world of Twit. Whether you're a tech enthusiast or a lifelong learner, Club Twit elevates your knowledge while entertaining your interests. Get two weeks free when you sign up now for $7 a month and unlock unparalleled access at twit.tv slash club twit. That's twit.tv slash club twit. And from the bottom of my heart, thank you and welcome to the club.